Let's take our Bibles and get them into Ephesians chapter number five. And we're going to go to a passage of scripture that I think is really misunderstood and kind of misused. And it's unfortunate because it has such a perfect, important uh, piece of information that we all need. And uh, so it's really not about alcohol at all. That might be a shock to many of you who have tried to make this passage your permission passage. It's really not about that at all. In fact, it's about not being involved in it as opposed to being filled with the Spirit. So uh, we'll drop in at verse number 17. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And then verse number 18 says, be not, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. So obviously we're going to zero in on the earthly piece there, the human piece there, and that's the alcohol. But actually God is saying really what you should be desiring is to be filled and under the control and the influence of the Spirit of God. When you're having that control and influence of the Spirit of God happening in you, there's a totally different thing that comes out of us, a different spirit that comes out of us, if you will. In verse number 19, it says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making a melody in your heart before the Lord, giving thanks always uh, for all things unto God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we see this different uh, mentality here looking at this passage instead of saying well of course it says we can have some wine we say no, no no what it's really saying is your need for wine or having that that uh, artificial joy uh, coming into us we can have the spirit of God's influence that brings joy to the heart and it has no downside. You're not going to lose control of other af uh, areas of your life. You're not going to cause accidents. You're not going to have all these other problems. See, a lot of people are looking for something to make them happy. And God says, instead of looking to a substance, look to the Spirit of God. And so that Spirit of God, look what it says again. It says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And so when we're filled with the Spirit, we direct our joy towards the Lord. We express our joy with the Lord or in the Lord. And so it's really not about alcohol at all. It's about having a, a, a great relationship with God and being under the influence of His Spirit so that we can have a lasting and genuine joy fill our hearts. And so I hope that this is an encouragement to you. It's a perfect message for a Friday because a lot of people uh, spend their Friday nights or their Saturday nights enjoying uh, alcohol beverages for the purpose of getting more joy into their life, forgetting all the other stuff, having a quote unquote great time. But the Bible says, instead of seeking your great time in those things, seek your great time and your, your joy in the Lord. Now, this may not be a message for everyone as it relates to alcohol, but it certainly relates to everyone as it, as it relates to being filled with the Spirit. And so whatever it is you're seeking your joy in, try being filled with the Spirit. It's a daily routine. It's something that we have to do regularly. We have to ask the Lord, will you fill me with your Spirit today so that I can do the things you've asked me to do and that I can have great joy in the process. And so I hope that today you will determine to be filled with the Spirit of God and not choose to find some other influence to get your joy. Have a great day.